Let me go. Where's our baby? Oh. How come she's not in this vlog? I don't know. <laughs> January 20th at 5.24 p.m. Correct. Yep, just making sure. My water broke on Saturday. We had her on Sunday. Um, basically, when your water breaks, you have a certain amount of time to have the baby, and I didn't go into active labor in that amount of time, so they ended up having to give me Pitocin, um, which speeds up the process and also makes contractions a lot more painful, but um, basically we started doing it and... I didn't do anything, this was all you. <laughs> we pushed for a while and then... You pushed for a while, again. This was very much Chantel's, she was awesome and I was very much on the sidelines, very... trying to be helpful as much as I could. And really, it was a very cheery atmosphere. Awesome. Our doctor was amazing and our nurse was amazing. Yep and they were very happy, cheerful people. It was awesome. And basically, we started pushing, pushed for a while. Finally, she came. She showed up. She showed up, and she was healthy, but she had the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck twice. So I didn't see this part, because I was just so glad to be done with the pushing part that I didn't realize I wasn't, one, actually done, because she made me push again to get out the shoulders. And so I leaned back like, oh, thank goodness I'm done. And Coulter, meanwhile, got to see poor little Senna with the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck and then getting it off. But everything was fine. Then I pushed the rest of the way. She came out and they put her on my chest. And it really is as magical as people say. It's the coolest feeling in the entire world. You can't, everyone says you. it's impossible to describe. You just have to experience it on your own. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's definitely like that. There's no point in describing mm -hmm. childbirth for anybody until they can actually, until they actually go yeah. through it. It is the coolest thing. Yeah, I feel like it's amazing. Now and Chantel's amazing. Mostly, mostly Chantel is just incredible. I went in with the expectation that it was going to be the most painful thing in the world, and it wasn't the most painful thing in the world. So. That made me feel a lot better. It was really tough to count to 10 <laughs> over and over for hours straight, so I felt a lot of pain trying to remember the numbers in order. <laughs> okay. One of the coolest things our hospital and our doctor does is they put the baby straight on you instead of weighing them and doing all that stuff. Or bathing them or anything. Or bathing they, just them straight, they just go straight onto skin. you, uh, to skin to skin, and it helps with latching and Clearly it helps because we haven't had any issues with nursing, which is super awesome. Knock on wood somewhere. Um, but yeah, it was really, really cool. So they put her on me for about 30 minutes until she starts nursing. Then I nursed her for about 30 minutes. And then she did skin on skin with Coulter for 30 minutes. And then they put her on the scale and started weighing her. And we had the grandmas, the sisters come yep. in. Um, and dads were there and then after that after we kind of got everything situated with me and finished <laughs> we brought in the dads the grandpas and Everly and Posey and Cole and it was just really fun so after baby was born we literally stayed in the hospital for 24 hours as soon as our 24 hour mark hit because that's as soon as that you're allowed to leave because they have to do a certain test at the 24 hour mark and um, we went back home because we had my mom, Samantha Cole, Everly, Posey all in town, and we live three blocks from the hospital, so we were kind of just really antsy to get home and hang out with everyone and be in our own space. The first few nights, you're kind of just dazed and confused for the most part and trying to figure out how to keep up with this little human. Uh, she was on the verge of jaundice, and so I had to feed her every hour and a half to two hours, which gets very exhausting after six to seven days. She's been sleeping really well, yeah. um, which again, we feel insanely lucky. I was 
super nervous, especially because we were waking her up every hour and a half, two hours to feed her, that that would continue to be how she was. But she's a really sleepy baby naturally, and she sleeps, <laughs> she's passed out over there. Uh, she sleeps, we put her to bed at about 11, 11.30, she wakes up at about anywhere between two and four for a feeding, and then she wakes up anytime between 7.30 and 9.30 in the morning. Yeah. So we get some very lucky. good chunks in there. That is not time. always the case, so we're trying to get our sleep while we can, and yeah. if she... And cross our fingers yeah. that it doesn't stop yeah. happening. We'll see. But we'll see. Maybe Chantel will have an update for you in a month where <laughs> she has just giant dark circles under her eyes. And I'm like, it, 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 we back, we went backwards, She's not sleeping, but as of now, she's been a great sleeper. Her personality is adorable. She's just really sweet and sleepy and calm, and she makes like these tiny little cries, which you might end up hearing soon because it's about time for her to nurse. And it'll be like you that. You sound like a goat. <laughs> <laughs> you fed her your first bottle the other day. That was cool. Yeah. It was nice to interact with her and be able to have Chantel out of the house. It wasn't nice to have Chantel out of the house. It was nice to be able to feed her and not just sit. I sit next to Chantel idly while Chantel yeah. gets to feed her. I got to like hold the bottle and like have her. Basically, I her left school. one day to go to the wing with one of my girlfriends for an event for like an hour and a half, two hours. Game draw. And <laughs> and she cried for about an hour solid of that. She had a meltdown while Chantel was gone. Last but not least, her name. How do we come up with her name, Coulter? Well, first, how do you pronounce her name? Because apparently in the comments, everyone is wondering how you say her name. Senna. And basically we're looking for C names because Chantel and Coulter both start with C, and so originally we're thinking we're gonna name all of our kids C names, but after thinking of millions of girl C names, we just couldn't find something that we were obsessed with. But shout out to everybody that put Tons of C names in the comments anyway. Yeah. For ideas. We like Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Senna is a very famous Formula One race car driver. Mm -hmm. uh, I love racing, Chantel not so much. Uh, I used to race cars for a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's the connection there. Who will not be racing cars? Who will not be racing cars? But I did say we're not gonna be able to get mad at her when she comes home with a ticket. A speeding ticket. A speeding ticket. She's just gonna be like, uh, you named me Senna, what did you expect? And yeah, I just have to try be prepared for that. So that's kind of a little bit of a wrap up. Again, sorry that we've been slow on videos. We are taking some family time and just uploading a lot less. Um, What's been the biggest surprise for you? I do, well, was, to finish my thought. No, what's been the biggest surprise for you? finish my thought. What your thought was going to be what the big Every surprise Monday, was. Every Monday I post on my blog, which is right here, and you can go kind of keep up with the weekly updates of what's going on um, with us. All you really need to know is Chantel is awesome and she is a, like a natural at the motherhood thing and makes so everything nice. so easy. She doesn't get upset, she doesn't get angry at the lack of sleep, she doesn't get frustrated with me even though I have no idea what I'm doing and she loves Senna more than anything in the whole world while still uh, loving our pig and the dog equally. Well, no, you love Senna more than those two, but like you still give them attention, yeah. and which is not easy for a new mom to do. And she's still getting outside all we the time all and the time. trying to like keep an active social life and the go little for wraps or whatever. Yeah. The wrap folders are my go-to. I'm obsessed with them. You mean the piece of fabric that you wrap around yourself and you put the baby in yeah. so it's like the a carrier? Baby and a solly baby. One of the coolest things that's happened so far, one one of them, is that she started laughing, which if you're a mom, you know that this just melts your heart. She hasn't laughed while awake yet, but when she's sleeping, she literally full belly laughs. And, and it just melts my heart. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. We genuinely have appreciated all of your comments and it's been really fun. You guys are so sweet. And we're loving oh, parenting. Oh, oh, we're wait. ready to do it a million more times. Reminder, Senna does not have an Instagram. So if you see yeah. anybody like saying it's an official Instagram. She doesn't have one. It, there's no And she thing. won't have one. No. We're just gonna post about her every once in a while like parents do on our own Instagrams. And when she's old enough 
And if she decides she wants her own Instagram, she can do that herself. You can find her on MySpace though. <laughs> She's got Love a great you guys. page. You should see the gifts. <laughs> Bye. So her HTML coding is incredible. Bye.